So I've been driving for a while, almost 30,000 rides. I've experienced just about everything you can experience in your car. Now, some passengers uh, choose to sit directly behind me. I would say that's approximately 5%, one out of 20, maybe one per day on a busy day. Most people sit, you know, behind me, but over on the other side of the car, right on the passenger side, and I can see them in the rear view mirror, right? Now, when I can see them in the rear view mirror, or I can turn my head and say, hi, I'm happy, right? No problem. When they sit behind me, I don't like it. No bueno. In fact, I hate it. I don't like uh, being in a vulnerable position in my own car where someone is choosing to sit and hide behind me. When somebody does sit behind me like that, I take that as a sign that they are uh, uh, socially uh, inept <laughs> and they don't want to talk. So I'm not going to say anything, right? I'm just going to let them have their have their time sitting behind me doing whatever they're doing. Well, as it turns out, I watched a 90 second video on TikTok recently, which has been seen by over half a million people that recommends strongly that women should sit behind the driver. And there's four other things that they recommend you should do for your own safety. So in this video, I'm gonna share those four things and comment on them. Also make a few comments or observations about men versus women passengers. And stick around at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you my number one strategy uh, when I'm confronted with the threat of violence um, in my own car. So all that and more coming up. Hey everybody, it's Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. Drinking some Java from my Yeti mug. Okay, by way of background, um, part of my job of being a, a contributor to The Rideshare Guy is to go through the Google News daily and look for articles uh, and videos that would be of interest to you, to my brothers and sisters who are rideshare drivers. And I came across this video um, from this woman um, giving advice uh, on how to be a passenger inside of a rideshare driver's uh, car. And I found it a little alarming, frankly, and disturbing. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you um, uh, what the four, there are like five, five recommendations uh, for women to be safe in the car, um, none of which I've ever had any woman do, I'll say that. Um, and that's in 30,000 rides. So it does seem a bit far-fetched as, as you'll see, um, but half a million people have watched this. So it's not, nothing to be taken too lightly. Um, here's the screenshot of the video, which you can find on TikTok. We'll probably put a link below the video so you can go and watch it if you want to and uh, see what uh, what's passing for uh, women's protection, okay? So let's let's jump into the video and uh, and cover the four points. Okay, number one. Before I get into number one, which is check the back door for child locks, uh, I should say that at the beginning of the video, the recommendation is that um, you sit behind the driver. So as I've said, one in twenty, I would estimate, actually sit behind the driver, and and I hate it. So I can't imagine there are many drivers who like having somebody sit behind them. So it's a bit antagonistic right off the bat when somebody sits directly behind me. Um, men never sit directly behind me. Occasionally a woman sits directly behind me. And for me, that just means uh, stoplight, no talking, just drive, drop off. I'm not going to engage at all, okay? So that's, that's how I interpret somebody sitting behind me. So that was kind of the beginning of the video. Then we get into this first point, which is making sure that you, that you can open the door, okay? So I don't know how other drivers do this. This is not a topic I've ever really uh, explored, but in my car, the doors are always unlocked. I don't wanna be locking and unlocking them while I'm driving around. Um, some cars I know, once the door is closed and you take off, all the doors lock. I turn that feature off in my car so there's never a concern that um, all the doors are locked and you can't get out. But in this video, the first recommendation is 
Um, pretend you got something stuck in the door and open the door and make sure that the door opens, okay? So that you know that uh, you can uh, open the door and bolt out of the car at any time. Number two, the second piece of advice is to be on, be on a phone call. So here again, I don't have many, many um, passengers who are on the phone. I think most of us consider that kind of rude to be doing a phone call while you're in the car. Now, I've certainly had some passengers who've said, I really need to take this phone call, is that okay? And of course I say, man, treat this like your office, you know? But it's very, very rare, and most pa most passengers consider it rude uh, because the the Uber rideshare experience is more of a, a partnership, right? I don't work for Uber and I don't ride for Lyft. I'm kind of in my own little business and you're a passenger in my car and, and there's a certain amount of respect. So all of us who are drivers, we've all gone through a training program that um, Uber and Lyft provide that teach us some of the basics about, you know, assessing who's in our car, respecting boundaries, um, don't talk about sex, don't talk about religion, don't talk about politics, don't ever ask any personal questions, don't ask, you know, am I taking you home? You know, nothing nothing like that, right? So we all have some basic training. And I, I, I know that there are drivers out there who do hit on their passengers. I've had many passengers who have told me that they've been hit on by their driver, that it happens a lot. And I think that's absolutely horrible. So I just wanna say, I do understand that being a woman is much different than being a man when it comes to getting into a car. Um, I just personally feel that this video is kind of going too far in the, uh, in the other direction. And I think as we get more into it, um, you'll see what I'm talking about. Number three, when you're on the phone, pretend that somebody is waiting for you at the other end. So again, assuming I'm the, the evil uh, driver who's going to attack you um, or follow you into your house and attack you, um, by pretending to be on the phone and talking to somebody who is going to be at the place that you're getting dropped off, that will further tell me that this is not a woman I should attack. And I just gotta say that in all my rides, I've never had anyone do, do this, okay? So this is not, this is unusual um, advice because in all of my experience, nobody has ever uh, been on, first of all, been on the phone because that's again, as I said, considered by most people to be rude in, inside of someone's car. Um, and couple that with talking to somebody and saying, okay, I'll see you soon, you know, I'll see you when I get there. So that's the third piece of advice. Okay, number four, and this is the one that really kind of upset me, was uh, sit behind the, the driver, right? Ha have, uh, make sure you can get out of the car, <laughs> talk to somebody, talk to somebody who's waiting for you and have your hands on your knife, right? Have your hands on your knife. And, and so that just, as someone who's offering a ride to you, who's in my car and you're sitting back there with a hand on a knife ready to, I would assume, stab me in my neck. Um, I just found this disturbing. I mean, that's all I can say is how I felt when I, when I, when I heard this. Um, and what it reminded me of was what happened to this poor guy, right? U.S. woman who shot and killed Uber driver claimed she thought she was being kidnapped. So um, at what point does precaution become paranoia, right? When does, when does the just, you know, a, a legitimate concern for your well-being become this paranoia where this particular passenger, because she saw a street sign, decided to, to unload and, and shoot this Uber driver and kill him. So um, that's what I first thought of. So I first I, saw, <laughs> I heard this woman talking about holding on to your knife so you have something to stab with. I think that was the, the word she used. And then this guy, you know, who's driving, who, who get, gets shot at. And of course, there's lots and lots of stories about both uh, passengers who have been attacked and drivers who have been attacked. So it's, it's a two-way street. Um, so, um, that's, that's advice number four, have your stabbing device ready, um, ready, uh, so you can grab it quickly, um, if you need it. So what are the key takeaways from this? Well, my number one strategy when you're in my car is live and let live, right? 
uh, if you're in my car, I'm just trusting you're not a violent person and you're not going to uh, flip out if I ask you the wrong question or, <laughs> you know, whatever I could possibly do that would make you feel threatened. I'm, I'm a 64 year old guy, father of four. I've never been violent with anybody. So, um, you know, I, I've not never, ever had an issue with 30,000 passengers. Um, but I, as I said, I just found this, uh, it feels like over, over precaution, um, which I've never experienced in, in all of my rides. So, um, and that's, that's how I like it. Uh, so again, my number one strategy, my key takeaway, live and let live. And, uh, you know, let's, let's have a nice chat if you want. And if you don't, you know, listen to the music, open the window, enjoy the ride. And, um, I'll take you where you need to go. Okay, well, that was interesting. That was a very interesting experience. Uh, I had a lot of feelings about uh, this. I do have a daughter who's 26. She does carry pepper spray with her. She does not sit behind the, 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 the driver. I've told her that's not recommended. And, uh, and she generally has a conversation and that, that's great. And she's never had an issue. So um, that's another approach, right? engage engage with the driver get to know the driver let the driver know you and um you know everyone's cool and copacetic okay that's it for me thanks for watching the video if you liked it please give it a like uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel subscribe and um we would love to have you as part of our team go out and have a great day go tell somebody you love them it'll make their day take care of yourself be safe out there